Hello, this is Jubileus with a new video and I was thinking to talk about EVE Echoes and the current updates and changes what have been coming up suddenly and uh, we have no warning or anything they just come out and now like it the update came yesterday and I was reading it and it was a big update with a lot of things that change change stuff a little bit but in the long run uh, when you start to test these things it takes a lot of time I read the chats what people write about talk about for example they were talking about the cloaking yeah so in the game chats and everywhere they're talking about the fuel needed for the cloak modules modules mods to use the stealth mode yeah people talking about the oh my god my astero uh, stealth ship now can only be cloaked for five seconds before you get disappointed and not ganking your targets but then i was talking in the ubis fan club that i need a new new ship for filming videos to stay hidden for 30 60 minutes to film uh, for example if there's like a, a big fight and someone has invited me to come and document that fight i use a cloaky ship to hide and film the fight from safe distance of course and because of the political uh, things and issues yeah because of the political uh, the game politics i cannot participate in those fights so i need to stay kind of away and film up film the videos try to make them and uh, yeah so I was kind of worried that uh, now I can't film the videos how I used to, but I heard that a T5 frigate, Kovops frigate is, is good. You can have it running 24 hours with one fuel trip or fuel, uh, fuel tank, fuel and uh, so that's not a big issue i need to get me some of those t5 kovops freaks for my arts to film videos and uh, currently the rest of the kovops family works similar that if you do like a normal traditional roam or fleet it, it's more than sufficient to last but still kind of weird we know we knew that this is coming because of the all sorts of those uh, cameras hiding and broadcasting everything for ever basically but yeah now that's a bit more difficult but i already heard that now the cameras the cloaky cameras are replaced with a pod and the pod will uh, somehow I think it's a script maybe something illegal possibly but it's still replaced that the camera pod will jump uh, to a safe spot after it gets a scan red scan notification or something like that so basically the cameras still are running and it doesn't matter that the cloak has changed so remember just to take fuel with you when you go do your stuff and also i noticed or i was talking with uh, players and like uh, the carriers uh, the basic carriers and the science c they lost the sensor module what uh, made them like uh, having a good targeting speed so they lost that but they got a mid slot, an extra mid slot and then you have this new 
uh, same module that does the same thing, sensor network module that you put in the midst slot and basically you have the same sensor uh, network but it's a mid slot module now and uh, it uses a little bit of fuel i've tested it and it's okay safe to use has a 10 second cooldown and uh, can't warp warp off uh, at 10 seconds uh, they did some small changes like uh, all sorts of like giving damage bonus for uh, a ship like a few percents but nothing nothing really crazy but yeah that is the biggest things about this latest latest uh, update patch what suddenly uh, came out and exploded the minds of the players of if echoes yet again and uh, I don't know it's a big change kinda but still need to adjust evolve and uh, keep making videos about eve echoes and hopefully i will get it get some kind of good videos for you guys guys and girls yeah i know that there's maybe one girl watching these videos so still remember to subscribe and like the videos <laughs> but yeah I kind of understand all the changes what we have got like the recent insurance balance change that the insurance system kind of changed and uh, that was okay but still it kind of stopped kind of the pvp enthusiasts so you can't afford to lose so many ships anymore at uh, so frequent time and uh, you need to have like a, a lot of replacement ships different types of ships basically same same ship but different hull and uh, uh, nano cores a lot of different nano cores and uh, yeah so it kind of it's a good change but still i'm a little bit salty because like uh, i lost uh, three balgorns with the ai and uh, it gets uh, more expensive and it, that happened like in one week yeah i forgot this time to bring my ah shit yeah this time i forgot to bring my camera tripod and that's why this is a shaky video because i'm holding it with my hand and you know the hand starts to shake a bit after you have a thing in your hand for a long time and hopefully it will not bother you and yeah so the insurance changes kind of changed the pvp game a little bit and uh, not so many pvp fleets in my opinion have been happening after the recent update or the insurance updates so that's a bit of a disappointment oh, shit. today also i saw uh my first rorgual in Isaac. he was mining ice Isaac belts and uh yeah a rorgual got them 70 billion ship mining ore in Isaac. first thing first time and uh yeah someone actually made it to Isaac with the rorgual and now we don't know the need to test it because I see it with my own eyes. I failed to film it, but you need to believe what I, I say because I saw and yeah, that's that's what I saw. A Rorgual in Heisek. Wow. Also today I was uh, a little bit testing out the science what I have and it works the same. They buffed the damage of the turrets and sensor network module blah blah but it's the same ship doing same things so yeah nothing different in that yeah they did uh, a little bit of this uh, in the games if you have too many resources of that type uh, they do these sinks the game that you need to 
uh, kind of feed or sacrifice something and there's uh, a few more isk sinks and there's like a isk shop in the shop so isk exchange shop so you exchange your money to buy things and uh, there's a few things which are okay but still there's things like what cost billions of isk and I don't know all the new stuff the items and ships and all sorts they're kind of access only for the pay pay paying players that can pay and get our and buy the ship boxes which is okay and a lot of these boxes and things they sell them in the market after a while so basically free to play players can get all the stuff what is new but it takes time and it's like a few weeks after the launch it's a reasonable price to buy and uh, yeah so basically you can get anything from the market and trading with players but still it's a uh, yeah but still people who have money why not why not spend your money and all sorts i hope you people could also go check out the UB Mart web store there's some UB t-shirts and uh, stuff that you can buy to support my youtube channel and uh, yeah i've sold one t-shirt to rambo and he's really happy with that t-shirt and I hope to have more customers to come and look at the website and say what you feel about it. So go ahead and click one of those Yubi merchandise what are spinning nearby the video and uh, click that. That's safe and go have a look. That's my dog in the background, Ares. He's a German Shepherd and we always film videos when we take a walk and now I'll just sit here for a while, drink a beer and film this video for you guys. Yeah, I still noticed that the Plex price is pretty high, so it's uh, 10, million, uh, 10 million per Plex or something like that and that's a bit high. It's uh, more than 5 billion for Duo Omega. So remember to go to the Ubis fan club and participate in my giveaways. I do do Omega giveaways every week. So go there and participate in the screenshot competition. And remember to subscribe and like the Ubi videos you see and help me grow the YouTube channel. Yeah. So if you feel like I missed something important, something game changing, let me know in the comments and uh, yeah don't be afraid just leave a comment say something about the new things what you feel how you want to play and uh, how do you feel about playing Eve Echoes and let's see how it goes and let's make some videos and yeah all right let's talk about the game a little bit more and yeah so I heard that people say that this game is more started to be more Care Bear friendly, more Care Bear stuff and less PvP, but I don't know. We shall see in the future how these things develop and yeah, but for me there's no major changes. I still consider myself as a free to play player and uh, I enjoy playing games like this. It's kind of hard, hard mode and see how far you can go just playing the game and not paying for anything basically. For me personally, uh, Eve Echoes has been a very interesting journey. I have played it for more than three years and suddenly I started to make these YouTube videos and suddenly like i'm a content creator for the game and the game is basically giving me duo omega for my account to make videos more easy or kind of small payment for the troubles and uh, the they sponsor the giveaways so pretty good i feel like i'm a good player because 
like the game is kind of paying me to make videos so and I started to play the game as a free to play player and still so basically yeah it's kind of crazy that the game is paying me to play the game yeah so this is how you can play EVE Echoes if you're smart I've heard a, ro a lot of rumors that the game is not going so well and uh, if you compare to other games uh, yeah I understand that it's not that hundreds of thousands of players playing the game and uh, it's uh, not so big it's not so popular but still it's kind of going forward and getting these updates and uh, I understand that a game needs money to keep running and if all these changes are necessary and helpful in the long run then it's okay most importantly i wanted to say thank you for all the subscribers and the fans in the fan club for helping jubileus to become what he has become and hopefully i will grow bigger and do some more videos for you to enjoy and thank you everyone i wanted to say that and uh yeah i think this is the end of our video for today and my dog looks like he's bored and want to walk around so we will now go and continue the walk and hope you hope to see you in the next videos bye bye